Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Tutorial video. I'm Vishnu and I'm back again with another Excel tutorial. Today we are going to check out some more basic Excel formulas. Those are average, max, mean and count. Average, max, mean and count. These are very simple formulas like sum. Here I already have an Excel with some numbers to show you how this works. For each formula we have 4 numbers to work with and we will have the result on the G column. Let's start with average. The quick and easy way to deal with this formula is just select the range of number we want to take average and then go to the auto sum drop down option over here in the editing section under home tab and use the option average. The result will be displayed after the next available cell from the selected range of numbers. Suppose you want the result somewhere else. In that case, we can very well type in the formula directly onto the cell where we want the result. So let me quickly show you that also. I'm going to delete this result for now and then I'm going to type in the formula directly into the cell G4. So I'll type equals to and then I'll type A V E R A G E and then I'll start with a bracket and I'll select the range of number I want to take average and then I'll close bracket hit enter and we have the result. Suppose we have multiple numbers in different places or we have multiple range of numbers in different places and we want to take average of those numbers. How to do that? Let's have a quick look at the current formula that we have built so far. It says that I want to take an average of the number that are in the range from C4 to A4. So if we want to mention multiple range, what we can do is like we can put a comma over here and select the next range of number. Put a comma, you want to select a number, not a range, select that. Comma, another number, and then comma, maybe another range of numbers. And then hit enter. We will have the result based on selected number and range of numbers. Let's have a look at the next formula max. Max is a formula in Excel to return you the maximum number out of selected range of numbers. So, to work with it, we do the same thing. We select a range of numbers and then we go to the auto sum drop down option over here and then use the option max and the result is displayed. If you want to type in the formula by your own, you can do it. If you want to evaluate multiple numbers or multiple range of number, again you can do the same thing. You can separate them by comma. For example, if I want to consider the number 98 and then comma, I want to consider the number 55 and then comma and I want to consider another range of numbers and I hit enter and we should have the result based on whatever number and range of numbers we selected. The next formula mean is to find out the minimum number out of a selected range of numbers and it works in the same way. So what we do is we say mean and then we select a range of numbers or multiple range of numbers maybe a number and close the bracket and we will have the result. Mean function is also available in the same drop down which can be used from here in the same way. The last formula of this tutorial is count which is used to count occurrence of numbers in a selected range. So to use the count, we can do the same thing. We can use count number option from here or we can type in the formula by our own. Like let's type count and then start packet and then select a range of area in the Excel and it will tell us that there are 16 numbers in the selected range. 
observe that I have selected the range from C4 to F9 which includes 8 additional cells where we do not have any numbers but the formula will not consider those cells to count because there is no numbers it is giving us the number as 16 not 24 so this is all about today's tutorial I hope you like it if you have any comment or suggestion please use the comment section below subscribe to my channel for more such tutorial Thank you for watching Tech Tutorial video. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.